Hi guys, and welcome to Classic Rock Country Music Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Today's video is on Mr. Ozzy Osbourne, who's been in the news lately on uh, with his health and everything. Uh, but this is about Ozzy being fired by Black Sabbath years ago for being a coked up loser. That's according to this. Let's take a look. Ozzy Osbourne is infamous for his rock and roll lifestyle. Partied hard and rocked out with Black Sabbath on tour for years. However, even the guys in the band eventually had enough. Osbourne had actually fired from Black Sabbath for his hard partying ways. Uh, Osbourne linked up with the men that would make up Black Sabbath in 67, but it took a few years from the land on the name and lineup. Their debut album, Black Sabbath, and its follow-up, Paranoid, were both released in 70, and the band quickly became stars. Black Sabbath was incredibly prolific, releasing six albums in just five years. Some of the hits included uh, Paranoid, Iron Man, War Pigs, uh, Children of the Grave. However, by the end of the 70s, things had started to sour between the band members. Ozzy left the group briefly in 78 to work on solo projects. They rejoined Black Sabbath just a few months later. The following year, they were back in the studio and tensions were high. We were doing some rehearsals in L.A. and I was loaded, but uh, then I was loaded all the time. Osborne wrote in his memoir, I Am Ozzy. Uh, he shared that drummer Bill Ward had been sent by the others to give him the boot, but he wasn't exactly the firing type. I can't remember exactly what he said to me, but the gist was that Tommy uh, Black Sabbath guitarist thought I was a pissed coked up. Uh, thought I was I was a pissed coked up loser and a waste of time for everyone concerned. Osborne explained, it "Wasn't just Osborne substance use that uh, got him fired from Black Sabbath. Well, me, the so-called Prince of Darkness had a history of fighting." In an interview with Apple Music, Zane Lowe, Osborne even admitted there was a period of time when we were arch enemies. Sabbath uh, replaced Osborne with Ronnie James Dio, who had previously sung with Rainbow. Osborne went on to launch his solo career with his own band, The Blizzard of Oz. He released a series of hit songs, including Crazy Train, No More Tears, and Mama, I'm Coming Home. Decades apart, uh, eased the tension between Osborne and the rest of Black Sabbath, and in 2011, he reunited with the rest of the band for a world tour new album. Ward ended up dropping out. The rest of the original lineup hit the road. The album 13 was released in 2013 and topped both the UK and US charts. Black Sabbath embarked on a farewell tour in 2016 and had not performed together since. However, Osborne and Lomi reunited in 2022 uh, to take the stage together during the closing ceremony of that year's Commonwealth Games. He has been so supportive of me, he texts me all the time. We text each other, Osborne said of his relationship with him today and we just end the commonwealth games together it's really nice to be friendly with someone used to be used to be uh used to intimidate the shit out of me i'm sorry there you go sorry i had a hard time getting some of that out uh it's ozzy osborne after all so it maybe make you feel at home i don't know uh it's kind of sad the way he's led his life i'm Glad he's kind of got straight, but it was kind of a little too late, I think. Because he doesn't seem straight at all. Uh, I think it's damaged him way past repair. Uh, prayers for him. That's all I have for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. God bless you. I'll be praying for you. Mm -hmm.